counting money. Today we are finding equivalent sets of coins and bills. We will also get to read two books within this lesson. A Quarter from the Tooth Fairy and the Coin Counting Book. For this video I am going to be using the Money Pieces app, which you can find on your app store or um, you can find the web version on mathlearningcenter.org. First off, let's read a story. This is called A Quarter from the Tooth Fairy. This is written by Karen Holtzman, illustrated by Betsy Day, and published by Scholastic Incorporated. Um, now, as a reminder, a quarter looks similar to this, however, much smaller. This is not the actual size. Um, a quarter is a quarter of a dollar, or 25 cents. Uh, it has George Washington, on the, George Washington on the front, and on the back, it'll either have the eagle, or it will have several other options, such as um, what I'm representing a state or a famous landmark from United States history on it. But to remember, again, it has George Washington on the front. Now let's read the story. I found a shiny quarter where I put my tooth last night. I could hardly wait to spend it, but I wanted to do it right. I jumped up on my bicycle with the money from the ferry. I knew just what to do with it. Buy a monster for my friend, Mary. I hadn't had that monster long when I was surprised to find it didn't feel right. It felt all wrong. I guess I changed my mind. I raced over to Mary's house and made it just in time. Mary took her monster back. I got a nickel and two dimes. I rode my bike around the block and came to my favorite store. I parked my bike and, cash in hand, I walked right through the door. I saw gumballs, kites, games, games, games. Too sticky, too big, too much. So I bought a spaceship pencil. It was the perfect touch. I hadn't had that pencil long when I was surprised to find it didn't feel right. It felt all wrong. I guess I changed my mind. I turned and rode back to the store, the pencil in my sack. I gave the clerk the pencil and I got five nickels back. I had the change in my pocket when I saw my old friend, Jim. Jim said, it's hot. But I know what, come with me, we'll swim. I still had my money with me when we finally reached the pool and there I bought Lupe's red goggles because they looked so cool. I hadn't had those goggles long when I was surprised to find they didn't feel right, they felt all wrong. I guess I changed my mind. When Jim and I found Lupe, she was flipping over at Kenny's she was happy to have her goggles back in exchange for 25 pennies. Now that I had my money back, I thought about what to do. I stopped to look at the animals and bought a sticker at the zoo. I hadn't had that sticker long when I was surprised to find it didn't feel right. It felt all wrong. You guessed it. I changed my mind. The woman at the zoo was nice. She said, here's your quarter, kid. By now I was I was pretty tired from all the buying and returning I did. It seemed so very silly to keep changing and changing my mind. Suddenly I had a great idea. This was an idea of a whole new kind. I hurried on home to my house and yes, I am telling the truth. The quarter went under my pillow and I bought back my tooth. So we are making sets of coins with equivalent values. So uh, um, the first thing that we're going to do is be reminded about the value of each coin. Uh, so we're going to be using the, the models here. So one penny is equal to one cent. One nickel is five cents. And you can see that there's five in that column. 10 cents, or the dime, sorry, is 10 cents and there's 10 in the column. A quarter is 25 cents with 25 squares in that grid. A half dollar is 50 cents, which there are 50 um, squares in that grid. And then a dollar is worth 100 cents with 100 squares in the grid. So what I'd like you to do is to start off with a quarter in our workspace. Your challenge right now is to use any other coins to create a value that is the same as represented by the quarter. 
25 cents. So I'm going to give you a moment. What are some ways that we can show 25 cents other than a quarter? Like if I went to the store and they were giving me 25 cents change back, but they didn't have any quarters, what could be another way? So we're going to show the same value in different forms. We could get two dimes, which is 20 cents, and then we need something else to make it 25. What else would work? A nickel. Okay, if we counted each of those squares, we would see that there are 25 squares. 10, 20, plus 5 is 25. Another thing that we could do is just use nickels. Okay. Uh, there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Well, that is equivalent to 1 quarter, or 25 cents. We could do a dime. A nickel, a nickel, another nickel, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, we could do a dime, 10, a nickel, 15, a penny, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Also 25 cents. We could use only pennies. How many pennies would be needed in order to make 25 cents? 25 pennies. Now there are a lot more groupings that we could do. Uh, I want you to see if you can figure out a way to represent 25 cents right now on your own. We're going to do another math story. Um, this is called The Coin Counting Book by Roseanne Langzak Williams, and this is published by um, Charles Bridge. A quarter, a dime, a nickel, one cent. Let's count all our coins before they get spent. One penny, two pennies, three pennies, four. What will we get when we add just one more? One penny, plus one penny, plus one penny, plus one penny, plus one penny equals one nickel. Let's count our five pennies just one more time. If we add five more pennies, we'll have one dime. One cent plus 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 one cent equals ten cents. What what else equals a dime or ten cents? Five pennies and one nickel makes perfect math sense. There's one, one, <clears throat> there's one more way to make a dime. Put down two nickels, one at a time. One nickel plus one nickel equals one dime. Look, lots of pennies. Can you count 25? It's faster, it's quicker if we count them by fives. Five cents plus five cents plus five cents plus five cents plus five cents is 25 cents. 25 pennies, we might drop a few. We have too many pennies. What can we do? We can trade for one quarter, shiny and new. Two dimes and a nickel make one quarter two, so do five nickels. Five nickels for you. Let's trade all our coins, our nickels and dimes. Quarters are better, they save counting time. 10 cents plus 10 cents plus five cents. Or one dime plus one dime plus one nickel equals 25 cents, one quarter. One nickel plus a nickel plus a nickel plus a nickel plus a nickel equals 25 cents. Well, what can we do with two quarters, my friend? We can trade both of them for one coin to spend. 50 cents, one half dollar. There are many ways to make this amount. Let's jump right in and start to count. 25 plus 25 equals 50. Five dimes equals one half dollar. 10 nickels equals one half dollar. 25 plus 25 is 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Count them by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. It's 50 cents. We have lots of coins. We have so many. Can we trade them in for some money less heavy? How about a dollar? What makes a dollar? Let's count pennies by tens. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100 cents is one dollar. It's fun counting pennies. Let's count them again. Do it with me this time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100 cents. What else makes one dollar? It's important to know. Spread out our coins. Let's have a coin show. Nickels, counting by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Four quarters, counting by 25. 25, 50, 75, 100. 10 dimes, counting by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's count out dollars. So 20 nickels is $1. 10 dimes, $1. Four quarters, $1. Two half dollars, $1. We've counted our money. Lots for me and for you. Our pockets are full. Now what do we do? Let's see. Well, that all depends. If we save the sum of it, the rest we can spend. Now, since you just showed um, various ways of making quarter or 25 cents, we are now going to show some various ways to make $1. Okay. Um, Previously, we've shown how we can do sets of the same coin to equal one dollar. Like there, it would be two half dollars to equal a dollar. Um, it would be four quarters to equal a dollar. It would be ten dimes to equal a dollar. That's not even on there nicely. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. We could also use 20 nickels or 100 pennies, which I'm not going to show right now. But what I would like you to try is with the coins that you have at home, or if you are using the Money Pieces app like I am, that I want you to show some various ways that you can make a dollar with mixed coins. Let me show you an example. I grab a quarter and we'll grab some nickels, five nickels. We just showed that five nickels equals 25 cents, right? So then I have 25 cents with my quarter, and then all my five nickels together equals 25 cents. So now I have 50 cents. Then I could add some dimes. One, two, three, four, five. And five dimes equals 50 cents. So all together that is the same as my dollar. Take a little bit and see what are some ways that you can make a dollar with various coins.